Hey there guys, my name is Jesse Cox, and today, we go down with the ship with a look at the level 80 zone of Vajir in World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Long ago, the once great and powerful highborn city of Vajir stood as a beacon of civilization in the east. But the sundering changed all of that as the empire of Queen Ajara came crashing down to the depths of the ocean. Long forgotten, the sunken city remained in the care of its transformed and warped highborn denizen, now called the Naga. As the world above the waves was rocked by war and Deathwing's return, the Naga began to amass their forces seeking to reclaim the world they once controlled. On the surface, the Horde have located an island recently created by the Cataclysm that would serve as the perfect platform for the invasion and occupation of Stormwind. The Alliance, believing the fate of the Eastern Kingdoms rests in preventing Hellscream from securing this foothold, sends what remaining soldiers they have not tied up in Kalimdor on whatever ships they can find. But as the two factions race towards this showdown at sea, they forget neither is master of this domain. Barely surviving the attack by the Kraken, you find yourself lucky to be aided by the Earthen Ring envoy amongst your soldiers. With the majority of the Alliance and Horde fleets destroyed, both sides must now rely on the Earthen Ring to see them through this ordeal. Using their skills to commune with nature, you discover the ability to survive and travel underwater, and what once was a fight for survival, begins an adventure to the beautiful world beneath the waves. As you investigate this newly discovered world, you learn that Kraken, once mighty beast of Neptalon, elemental lord of water, much like the other ocean's creatures, are now under the control of the Naga. The Naga, having allied themselves with Deathwing, allow the minions of the old gods to siphon energy from the ancient creatures of the sea, using it to power their dark magics and create ascendant beings for use in the greater war. Meanwhile, the Naga, uncontent with control of the ocean, seek to control water itself, as they prepare to attack Neptalon's home, the Plain of Water, as well. Should they succeed in subjugating Neptalon, they will gain control over all the world's water, placing the whole of Azeroth in jeopardy. And with the capture of your Earthen Ring allies, now it falls on you to turn the tide. Please click the annotation to return to the world map.